One of my favorite privileges as president is giving the annual President's Award for Volunteer Service. And I'm delighted to give this year's award to Barbara and Charles Dumond. But let me tell you a little bit about them. Their service spans work at their home congregation in San Mateo, California, where they've been members for 26 years, all the way to our international work. Let me just list a few high points. In her congregation, Barbara has served on three search committees and has taught OWL. She also serves on the board of the UU Justice Ministry of California. She's known as someone who always says yes when asked to volunteer. Charles has led multiple pledge drives in San Mateo. He's taught OWL at every level from kindergarten through high school. Now, I thought I'd served on lots of boards of trustees, but compared to Charles, I'm a beginner. He's been an officer on his congregation's board for a decade. He serves on the boards of the Church of the Larger Fellowship, the Pacific Central District, and the advisory board of our UU United Nations office. They share a passion for international work. I personally have fond memories of traveling with them on a UU United Nations office trip to Ghana in support of a program that supports AIDS orphans. They've also supported the Partner Church Program, supporting their congregation's partner in the Philippines. Barbara and Charles have also shown commitment to justice work at many levels. I remember their coming to Arizona and marching in the heat to protest anti-immigrant legislation. And besides this, they're just delightful people. So I want to thank you both for your unwavering commitment, and with this award comes a $1,000 contribution to the charity of your choice. So please join me in honoring Barbara and Charles Dumont. And let's get the photo off. Thank you, Peter, for your kind words and for this recognition. Charles and I are very honored and very humbled, and we are certain that there are many other people who are more deserving of this recognition. So let's be honest about privilege in our society. A couple of white people with time and money have lots of opportunities to volunteer. Basically, when asked, all we have to do is say yes. So we would like to lift up awareness of those who don't get asked and can't respond. There are over 700 members of the Church of the Larger Fellowship who are imprisoned, and at least 30 are imprisoned in Angola Prison in Louisiana the largest max known security prison in the United States. So the Center for Ethical Living and Social Justice Renewal and the Prison Ministry of the Church of the Larger Fellowship are developing a plan for next year a GA to create greater connection between UUs and those who, have, who are in prison. We have asked that the donation associated with this award be split between these two organizations as seed money to facilitate the creation of this plan. Friends, uh, there is much justice work to be done. We're reminded of the hymn, Just As Long As I Have Breath. If they ask what I did well, tell them I said yes to life, yes to truth, yes to love. Peter, thank you again for this honor. <laughs> 